Hi everybody and welcome to the Team Tommy Inner Circle Weekly Meetup. Good to have all you guys here tonight. Of course, the first thing we're going to do is some housekeeping. So let's see who's on. We've got Bill, Carol, and Del, Gary, Holly, Howard, Hugh. Good to see you, Hugh. Jan, Libby, Merrick, Raymond, Rich, Robert, Russell, Suresh, Trevor, and Val. Good to see all you guys. It's Trevor's birthday, y'all. Everybody say happy birthday to Trevor. Happy birthday, Trevor. Everybody's saying happy birthday, Trevor. I would sing him happy birthday, but nobody wants me to sing. I promise. <laughs> All right, guys. So, uh, our weekly mission. Why do we have these webinars? To continually learn to market our business online and get the help we need to move forward with our business. No matter what it is that you're doing, these webinars are to help you with building your online business. Get on these to get help, learn from me, learn about all your other peoples in here, and of course, you guys need to be hanging out with each other in the Facebook group. You can ask questions in there, um, network with each other, that kind of thing, okay? And of course, my YouTube channel. Guys, if you would just sit and go through my YouTube channel, you would learn all kinds of stuff about building and marketing an online business. It's a free resource that's like my brain, okay? Um, we are switching Accountability Tuesday to after the lesson. That's by popular request, semi-popular request. Got a lot of changes to that. There's some people out. So uh, that'll be interesting to share with you guys. Uh, let's see. Okay. So what are we talking about tonight? Tonight we're talking about Twitter. How many of you guys are using Twitter in your marketing? If you are, just say yes. Libby says your YouTube is the bomb. Thank you, Libby. If you're using Twitter in your marketing, just type yes. Trevor says, I have Twitter. <laughs> okay, but are you using it in your marketing? Let's go over to uh, my Twitter. <laughs> Trevor says, I have Twitter. <laughs> That's a no. Okay, not many of us are. And I'll tell you guys why in just a second. <clears throat> okay, so I need to log into my Twitter account. Okay, so that's what we're going to talk about tonight uh, is Twitter, as I call it, Twitter. Alright, so a couple of you guys want to actually use Twitter in your marketing. Guys, it's just another social media platform. I say just, it's a big one. Uh, thank you, Carolyn. She's sending me her Twitter account. Awesome sauce. Um, a lot of us have a Twitter account, but we just don't know what in the world it's, what are those people doing? Um, Val says, does anyone other than pol politicians and their journalists actually read Twitter? Actually, yes. Um, I read Twitter. I just don't post much, post much. And, um, it, it's something that I want to um, I want to do. So I wanted to share with you guys what I'm going to be doing and kind of give you a Twitter 101 tonight. Carolyn says bashing Trump big time. Yeah. But guys, if you look at my feed, so let's go home. I think a lot of people who don't use Twitter have a opinion about it, but not an educated opinion. Because if you look at my Twitter, there's not a lot of political stuff. This is stuff that I'm interested in. And by following people in your niche, that's what you will find on here. Things that you're interested in. If all you see when you open up your Twitter is political stuff, that's probably because you're not following the right people, okay? 
and Social Media Examiner <coughs> definitely want to follow them. They got really good stuff. <coughs> so let's talk about all the, the tactics we can use with Twitter. Dale says looks almost like a Facebook wall, kind of. But if you look at it on mobile, it does look totally different. Okay, what I'm showing you guys here is um, the desktop Twitter. Mobile Twitter is, is quite a bit different. You still see the same things, but you don't see all of this stuff. You basically just see this. Okay, so let's talk about the first thing here. Is your niche using Twitter? No? Then don't use it. Yes? Then you need to use it like this. Okay, so obviously people in my niche are using Twitter because there's a lot of people on here that um, I see that are in my niche. And I have people on here that I don't see on Facebook, that I don't see on Instagram, stuff like that. So this is opening up a whole new um, channel for me to reach people that I'm not reaching in my other social networks, okay? Lavelle says, I'm not hearing any audio. Everybody else says, dear, you might need to, and of course he can't hear me, so he can't hear me tell him to log out of the webinar and log back in. Hold on one second, guys. Let me... Alright, let's do... Uh, send chat message. Sorry guys. All right, hopefully he'll get that. Yeah, everybody else is obviously hearing me fine, but something is going on with Lavelle's <coughs> stuff here. Okay, so if you find that your niche is on Twitter, this is what you need to do. You need to create a profile that represents your brand. So if you guys notice on my profile, I have the branding picture that I use on most of my social media um, channels. I'm not using this on YouTube, but I'm not using this on Facebook. Um, but you want to keep that pretty consistent. Like I use this on LinkedIn, Google Plus, and a couple of others, okay? Um, make sure that whatever your brand is, that's what you name your Twitter account, okay? I have multiple brands, so I have multiple Twitter accounts. Make sure that you fill out your bio here. <clears throat> Put in a keyword and hash and or hashtags that are going to allow people to find you. So making money online. I have that in there strategically because I want to attract those people, okay? And of course, I have um, my location, a link to my website, and all that stuff here. So photos and videos. When you share photos and videos um, on Twitter, that puts all this stuff right here, okay? If you just do tweets, and Twitter's not just for text. You can do all kinds of stuff. Um, so you need to be sharing images and stuff like that, and we'll get to that in just a second. Um... Awesome. Thank you, Carolyn. She's just sharing with me her profiles. Okay, so the next thing here. Start and continually build your following. If you have no followers on Twitter, no one's going to see your tweets, okay? So you can start off by searching for experts in your niche and see who follows them and who they follow. You can use the search function, um, look for hashtags. So if we go back to Twitter. I'm going to keep quit calling it Twitter. It's Twitter, Liz. Twitter. So if we search up here, we search for, let's say, digital marketing. We're going to find a lot of hashtags for people who are doing digital marketing. We're going to find companies, um, brands, stuff like that. But what we want to look at are actual people. So like this person. He would be somebody I'd want to follow. He's got digital marketing here. 
And I'm looking for people, not brands. You can follow, brands are, are something you should also, that way you can see who's following them. Uh, I presented digitally at Future of Marketing, discussed, okay. Isabella Jones, the various components of social marketing workflow and digital marketing is gears upon gears that must work together. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> so look for people who are sharing really good information. Sorry guys, I'm coughing or clearing my throat a lot because I just ate a ton of peanut M&Ms before getting on here and guess what you shouldn't have before you start speaking? Anything dairy. Notice how awesome their profiles are too. These guys are super savvy. So I'm following these people and then if you look in suggested, it'll start showing you different people to follow also. So follow. Okay. So is what I would do is I would try following 10, 20 different people each day when you get on uh, Twitter. Okay. So if you start following those people and you start interacting with them, <coughs> you'll start seeing yourself getting followers back um, when you start interacting with them people will see that you know you've made comments on their stuff they'll click on you they'll follow you that will start slowly building your following but you got to make sure that you're interacting and we'll talk about that in just a second now on Twitter how do you get people from Twitter to your stuff well you share your really good content okay so if we go back to me here and we go to my profile, a couple of things I shared today um, is this, the warning, you may not like this. This was a kind of controversial blog post that I posted. I got a lot of feedback on it. Um, I got lots of likes on Facebook. I got lots of shares on Facebook. I got lots of comments on my blog. So. Those are all big indicators that, that this needs to go on Twitter, and that's what I've done here, okay? Um, I don't use Twitter a lot, so you'll just see basically this is like, um, I, autom I have my YouTube channel hooked up to automatically post every time I create um, a video and upload it to my YouTube channel, but now that I'm adding Twitter to my, uh, my marketing, I'm gonna be making a lot more tweets. Uh, let's go here. So share your good content, share content of those you want to get on their radar at mention them. So let's say, let's go through here. Let me find Joel Tom. Let's see if there's anything good that we can share of Joel's. All right, so I just want to retweet this. So we're going to retweet, um, and I'm going to do, I cannot wait to get the fun formula book come on Amazon. And I'm going to at Joel Com. Now, Joel's not necessarily somebody who I'd, I want to get on his his radar, but I do want to get on um, his radar of his followers, okay? Carolyn says, from past experience, be careful of auto posters of people who sell tweeters. You, you meant followers. I was going to say, do you mean followers? 
Be careful of those tweeters. They're almost as bad as those tweakers. I kid, I kid. All right, guys. So, uh, okay, so share content of those you want to get on their radar. Engage heavily. Retweet, follow, like, and comment on things related to your niche. The more you are seen on Twitter, the more followers you will get. So when you post your good content, those people will see it. They'll come from Twitter onto your site and hopefully subscribe, okay? Respond to at mentions and retweet so people know you're active. If you get any notifications that somebody has retweeted you, has mentioned you, make sure you're responding to that, at least with some kind of like or something, okay? Uh, let's see, respond. Okay, share you. On Facebook, I'm really good about sharing you know, things that are going on in my personal life, my stuff that's going on with kids, my traveling, stuff like that. That all gets people to know, like, and trust me, okay? I've already built this following on Facebook that's interested in my niche. Now I want to get in front of them, and I do that by sharing myself, my personality, and stuff like that. You want to do the same thing on Twitter, okay? Use hashtags in your tweets. In your webinar resources, I have given you several resources um, showing you um, different places to, you know, generate hashtags, to find hashtags that are trending, all that fun stuff. But it's very important that you use hashtag, hashtags in your tweets. Number nine, use contest tests to get, I can't talk at all tonight, guys. Use contests to get others to spread your message. Now, this is a giant strategy. And if you want to follow the strategy, you need to go and research this and do this. But Twitter is a great place to get people to um, retweet your contest, um, share it, like it, interact with you, all that fun stuff. And there's lots of tools out there that will allow you um, to run contests and use social media to spread the news about your contest. You need to come up with your contest idea. So, like, if I was going to do this, I would probably, I would probably wait until I have a book. And I'm, I'm going to be writing a book so that, you know, I'm seen as an, as an authority. <laughs> Seriously, guys, I am going to write a book, but it's going to be because I want something physical that I can give my people, um, not so that I'm seen as an authority. But um, I would probably do it. I would probably have, you know, giving away, you know, X amount of copies of my book, blah, 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 blah. I'd probably run a contest like that. I could also run a contest giving away, you know, a high ticket product, you know, of one of my big coaching programs, something like that. Um, depending on your niche will depend on how you, how you do this. If you're in e -com, you need to be using this strategy, okay? Uh, number 10, share your profile on your other properties and emails. So if you guys notice on my blog, I am with Liz.com. Right here at the very top, follow me. I've got Facebook, Insta, Twitter, YouTube, Google+, and LinkedIn, because those are the ones that I use. At the bottom of all of my posts, and I lied the other week and said that it was there, and I don't know if it's there or not. And nope, it's on my other blog. Okay, i got to get this back on my post here. I don't know why it's not here. But anyway, at the bottom of your post, you should have um, things that people can either share your post or, you know, follow you on, okay? So follow me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, all that fun stuff. Uh, share your profile. Oh, and make, in your emails. You can also do that in the footer of all your emails. So when I send out an email, I have templates that I use. So let's open F emails. Give it a second, do its thing. I love my computer because it's so fast, but I have an external hard drive hooked to it. That is so slow. All right, so here we go. So let's do, okay, so my Liz told me template. Whenever I create an email, I always take this and copy and paste it, and then I create my email using this template, okay? It's got get support at, see my main site at, my products at. I should also have find or get like a something here that says let's get social and I could have links to my social profiles I also think that 
in a lot of autoresponders, there's a thing that you can drag and drop in there. Let me see if uh, Aweber has that. I've never done this in my emails, and that's silly that I haven't. I definitely need to be doing that. All right, so if we do drag and drop builder, there's a share thing here. So let's see what happens here. Ah, okay. So you can, you can put the whole share thing on there. Okay. I don't want that. Signature loop product. Follow me. So it looks like we can do Facebook and Twitter. I wonder if they have things in here for um, the other social networks. I just haven't put my social networks in here. Let's see if we do Aweber. My account. Yeah, I don't see where, where that's at in here. Um, I would have to uh, take a look at that. Let's see what you guys have to say. Howard says, does anyone still use Google Plus? I do it simply for um, Google Presence. That's it. Howard, have you had a chance to go over when I talked about, let's go here, this part of stuff? I don't think you were around when we were talking about that, but a lot of things I use simply for um, my, my Google presence that my SEO team is currently working on and screwing up horribly for the Liz Tomy brand. <laughs> there's a, there's currently a war with me and my SEO team because I don't know what in the world they're doing. Um, but Google, Google plus is one of those things that we do use just for a presence. Howard says no, I'll screenshot. Okay. So you saw the traffic resource. Now all of those things that I've gone over are all in that traffic resource. <coughs> I think I listed that at the top of that. All right, so let's keep moving along. Share your profiles. Okay, number 11, be consistent and tweet often. I'm very good with being consistent with Facebook, not so much with my, my other profiles for uh, the Liz Tommy brand, and I need to get more consistent. That's probably the biggest thing I'm not doing is not being consistent. Use tools that allow others to tweet your content. I want to show you guys something really cool, and I've kept it in this. I'm not going to put it in your document, but I want to show you guys something that I really like. There's a couple of different tools that allow you to do it. So when someone's reading your content, and they're like, ooh, this is really good. Let me let this load. Here we come down here. Reading, what's this lady's name? Kim Garst. Okay, so I'm reading through here, reading through here. Oh, this is cool. This is cool. And then you see this tweet this. If you consistently share the love on Twitter, chances are others will do the same for you. At Kim Garst tweet link. So if I do this, let me go to my profile here. Oh, her tweet link doesn't work. So I'm gonna make a comment here. Looks like that link didn't show up. This is a good read. So here's the link. There we go. <clears throat> so I'm doing a lot there. I'm getting on Kim's radar. Kim's people might see my see my stuff <clears throat> and might come follow me. Guys, I am so sorry. Usually just a few M&Ms doesn't keep me from being able to talk during these webinars, but tonight it's killing my voice. 
Anyway, excuse the hacking. Um, so if this shows up in her stuff, tweets and replies. Where does this show up now? Well, it's not showing up. What's going on here? Here's her tweets. So this is what she's tweeted out, okay. And then we have tweets and replies. It might be doing it because I'm not following her. This is just the media stuff she's she's shown. Alice says drink some water. I am. Howard says, the traffic tactics are in your Cheat Sheets product. Can we see one of them? No, 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 no. The traffic thing that I uh, I sent out to everyone. Let me go over to Facebook. And actually, if you just go to IamWithLiz.com. All my business resources. And we go to website traffic. It's all right here in this. That's what I was talking about, this one. This is the big, this is the free one that I gave away and posted all over Facebook. I'm pretty sure you liked it, Howard. So I think you saw it. All right, so there's lots of these that you can use. There's lots of tools. I know AppSumo has one. Um, I know there's WordPress plugins you can use. This one obviously isn't working, uh, <laughs> as we just saw. Um, but I'm not sure why it's not showing up on her. She's got her pin tweet. Usually if you retweet somebody, it shows up on their stuff. Let's see if mine showed up on... Joel's. Yeah, it's not showing up. I will have to see why. Oh, wait, duh. They show up right here. They show up when it's retweeted. Let me see if I can get this. This has been retweeted. Six likes. We comment. Sorry, this is so different when I'm on the desktop that I am. Um, when I'm on my phone, I hardly, I hardly ever use Twitter on my desktop. But usually you can see who's retweeted it, okay? That's the whole thing with the whole retweet thing. Uh, Carolyn says, plus T, Twitter and Facebook are deleting apps. They are. Everybody's deleting apps. There's all kinds of crazy stuff going on. Just got to roll with the punches, guys. Find out what's being done and go back and redo things. I'm having to do that a lot in my business right now. Um, but you, you just got to roll with the punches. A lot of this stuff next year could be totally irrelevant. You've just got to keep up to date with the things that you're using. If Twitter's something you're going to be using... You need to keep up to date with, you know, changes with it, tactics, and that's going to be number 15, okay? All right, be consistent, use the tools, tweet the same thing, it's okay. So because Twitter is such a fast-moving social network, it, lots of things get missed on there. So it's okay to a couple of times a day, a couple, not every minute, not once an hour, a couple of times a day to post the same tweet, okay? Uh, number 14, do a pinned tweet. 
So, just like on like Facebook groups and stuff like that. Let me go back to my Twitter. You can do a pinned tweet. So if somebody views your profile, they're going to come here and this is going to be the tweet that they always see when they uh, visit my profile. So they click on my link. What does that do? That takes them to my site. Hopefully gets them on my list. I generally have a pop-up that comes up here too. Okay, so that's why you want to have the, 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 the best piece of content you have. Um, a link to your opt-in page. Something like that needs to be in your pinned post. Uh, Howard says, are you using tools that syndicate across several pro profiles at once or manually one at a time? Manually. I do this stuff manually. And I've been preaching against um, the schedulers and the syndicators and stuff like that for many reasons. Number one, if I'm seeing the same content across all channels, I'm just going to follow you on one channel. I don't need to see you with the same stuff all the time. That's why I try and change up my images. I try and change up uh, my headlines and stuff when I'm posting the same piece of content on all the different um, social networks, okay? The second reason is anything that is seen to be robotic and not organic is always going to get you less reach. So that's the big reason I've, I've never used the syndication stuff like Hootsuite and there's like, I don't know, 1,500 of them now that'll do stuff for you. Number three, now with all the changes, a lot of those aren't working anymore. <clears throat> um, I don't know what's going to happen with that. I'm sure um, there's going to be people who come out with new things that are compliant and stuff like that, but a lot of things um, aren't working any longer. And that scares me. I would hate to have, you know, my social media set up for a month and then <laughs> it, it all get taken away because my tool didn't um, work. Uh, Howard says, are you tracking results across platforms? I am. I always track where my traffic comes from. Um, so that's the big reasons I don't use those. And, and the biggest reason has always been it's robotic and it messes with my reach. And I've proved that a couple of times, especially with Facebook. Okay, guys. So let's go back here. The pin, number 15. Always be educating yourself about the different tactics and strategies you can use on Twitter. Guys, what I covered here is just kind of a getting started with Twitter. Um, if you've never used Twitter, these are the things you need to be doing. Great profile, getting followers, interacting, um, stuff like that. But you need to constantly be educating yourself and keeping up to date with the changes, number one. But number two, seeing what other people are doing to get traffic from Twitter. When you see, a, if you're using Twitter and you see a course or something that comes out about Twitter, Pick it up, read it, see how other people are doing it so that you can start doing it too. That's the same with all of these things. So if Twitter is something you want to start using, this is where you get started. All right, so do you guys have questions about Twitter, using Twitter? How many of you guys feel like you are going to use Twitter now that I've shown you a couple of things here? If you are going to use Twitter, just type in yes. Horses would like to start using Twitter. Yeah, but that affiliate traffic is so sweet. <laughs> Guys, if you create and launch products, it's really hard to um, want to drive traffic in any other way. Uh, if you're not, you know, creating and getting, and you don't even have to do like a big launch, but getting affiliates to drive traffic for you. Um, you get really addicted to that kind of traffic because it, it's, it is, it's hands down the best traffic you can get. And I've covered all that before. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm teasing Trevor because he does that. <laughs> he creates products and gets affiliates to promote them. And that is definitely some seriously hot, sweet traffic. Uh, so I'm seeing yes, yes, yes. But this is all stuff I do in my, when I'm, when I'm not using affiliates. Val says, maybe, not my first choice by a long shot. Well, if your niche isn't there, you don't need to be using it at all.
Howard says, how much time per week are you posting on social media? Uh, I spend a lot more time reading than I do posting. Um, Facebook, I post the most on. And uh, let's see, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn. Uh, maybe a couple of times a week will I post on those, which is why I'm not seeing any great results from them. If I would be more consistent, work on getting more followers and stuff like that there, um, then it would be great. Trevor says, how do you track your traffic from Twitter, etc.? What do you use? Google Analytics. Tells me where all my traffic comes from. It's hard. It's hard to, to read the data sometimes. Um, but I can tell if, you know, like Twitter, when I post on Twitter, I can see the traffic coming from it. An easy way to tell on, like, your blogs and stuff like that. Let me show you guys here. If I have it on this one, I might not have it on this one. This one, I'm using Google Analytics. I know that for I Am With Liz. Oh, come on. You know that's the right password. Let's talk ugly to my blog for a minute. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> All right, so Jetpack. If we look here at Jetpack and we go site stats, So if we look here, Jetpack gives you some information. So if we look at yesterday, Facebook, I got some stuff from the search engine, some stuff from YouTube. Uh, I have no idea what that is. But my Google Analytics gives me a lot more information about this. Facebook, views, YouTube, today. Got some Twitter. I'm just not actively promoting um, this site at all right now. If you guys look at my traffic on this site, I'm getting, you know, traffic a little bit here and there. <clears throat> um, but unless I, um, like on this day, let's open this, It'll open up, there we go. Look, Facebook sent me 77, YouTube, looks like there's a couple of different other other little things here, but like if I post something on Facebook, I'm getting views from Facebook, and this is uh, Wednesday, May 9th, total views referred by links to your blog, so 97, so let, I don't know even what this was, Let's see if it'll give us even more stats here. Nope, it doesn't give any more. And the Android app, this is probably, yeah, this is people from Facebook using Android. This is probably from somebody in their email. Google searches. Bing searches. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. But this is just a, uh, the free site stats from Jetpack, and Jetpack is also free. Now, on my sales pages and stuff like that, I'm really not um, tracking with Google Analytics like I should on those. Now that I'm building all of my sales pages in WordPress, I'm implementing the tracking on those now to see where my stuff's coming from. But if we look at, let's go Backpack Business Lifestyle. Let's look at the analytics over here. Let's 
see here. So this blog I spend a little more time promoting. Alright, so let's see, May 11th was definitely a promotion day. Are you really not going to show me what I need to see here? Well, that didn't do very good at all. Let's see, months. View detailed stats. All right, here we go. So, looks like the 10th and 11th, I did <clears throat> a lot of promoting. Um, let's see where this traffic came from. Facebook, one of my sites some YouTube and guys these are not the the stuff you get from jetpack is not like um, it's not always accurate like I could log in to this and it would show me double the traffic from Facebook double the traffic from YouTube I know it's only one um, but it's not always accurate this is just a way to gauge and see if something pops up on here that you're getting traffic from, you should keep using it because it's probably way more than they say it is. Like Facebook, I know for sure it's way more because I can tell that from my Google Analytics and stuff like that. Um, if we look at stats here, I may not show stats. Yeah, it's not showing it. But this is something that will get you started if Google Analytics is too hard for you. And it's very hard, guys, I will tell you. It is not the easiest thing in the whole world to use. All right, guys, any other questions on Twitter or traffic tonight before we close out of our lesson and start taking questions about other things? Any other questions, guys? I'm gonna take a drink of water. <clears throat> Howard says, let's see one of your cheat sheets. Okay. Uh, I can't go in there. Mm, because... I can't go in that in that folder. It's got a lot of sensitive things in it, and I don't want to be giving away file names. Howard says, "Block out the porn." No, Howard. If you if you want to see the cheat sheets, let me know, and or send me a private message, and I'll show you a cheat sheet. Um, but I don't want to go in there and start showing off file names. I was almost like, "Yeah, sure. Let me just go er, er. That's why I'm really careful about opening up folders when I'm on my computer. I don't watch porn on my computer. I do that on my phone, so... <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. Howard <laughs> says, okay, thanks. <laughs> Val says, lol. I'm kidding, guys. Gosh. Alright, so I don't see any more questions on that. <laughs> Val says, that's hilarious. Russell's says sex on the go. See, we say the word porn and everybody wants to start chiming in. I ask you guys if you have questions about building your business. You're like, nope, nope, nothing. I don't have anything. <laughs> but we say the word porn and here we go. I'm teasing you guys. Okay, so let's go to um, 
Howard says, hey, I met your boyfriend at the expo. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, let's move on to Team Tomy accountability. Uh, Merrick says, I bought the cheat sheets and wonder you have the upgrade to the resale rights. Merrick, if you want the resale rights, um, just send me 20 bucks via PayPal. That's the difference. And I'll give you the link to the resale rights. And Merrick, you don't even have to do that. You've been a customer for a long time. How about I just give you the resale rights to that? Send a support ticket in. Tell them that Liz said, I, Merrick, not everybody, <laughs> get um, the upgrade to the resale rights at no charge. Trevor says, got a link to promote your package. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Rory Stern has has ruined me from the, the whole word, word package. <laughs> Trevor says, keep your mind on track. You're horrible. I know, right? Right? Okay. Uh, Trev, yes. Um, after this, I will get you a link. Let me make a note of that. I needed to talk to you anyway after this. Um, about the solo ads webby. See if I can get you next week. But let's just gonna put it here solo ads webby and get affy link awesome sauce dude thank you okay guys so um david says i made it what did i miss the whole webinar man i'm just kidding half the webinar <clears throat> all right so let's talk about our accountability people couple of things i am not accepting any more people into the accountability program at this time osahar we found out is part of backstage with liz so osahar doesn't really want to do accountability at all i don't think or he says he's going to use the backstage with liz accountability so he's gone um mike is having some family issues and has withdrawn so he's gone backspace so that leaves us with one so this would actually be one two three four five six seven eight people left okay um let me format sure there we go so I am still, ta okay, so I want to retract from last week because Fred was actually on, but he came in late. So we are totally keeping Fred. He is on track. He has gotten with me this week. So he's doing his thing. So we're a go with him. I need to check back in with him. And so I'm going to turn that to red. Gary Buckley, we're talking about him. He has way too many things going on at one time. Um, let's see if Fred is on here first before we go any further. Fred is here. Yes. <laughs> Fred's like, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Awesome sauce. You get to stay another week. Okay. So Gary and I are talking. Okay. So then we have Holly. And I'm talking with Holly. So she's good. I need to check back in with Holly though. Uh, Jan checked in on her. She's good. And Jan, I do believe is here this week. Yes, there she is. She says, I'm here. <laughs> All right. Then we've got Rick. Rick is not here tonight. Rick went into total panic mode because he couldn't be here tonight. It's his son's graduation. He was worried about not being able to participate in the program because of his son's graduation. I, of course, told him, please don't ever care about this that much. <laughs> I like to see that dedication, though. That says a lot. Uh, I checked in with Robert. He's doing his thing. 
Uh, Russell is on track, and Suresh I have heard from. So, these people are still here. They're still doing what they're supposed to be doing. Um, Holly, I would like to see do more. I'm going to talk to her about that. Gary, I would like to see more from. Um, Suresh, let's see if you're on. Howard says, shouldn't red mean bad, green mean good? That's just for me. That's so I, that's a stop, Liz. You need to check in on these people. Jan says, I don't want to get kicked out. You're doing good, Jan. You're really putting in the work. If I had to pick who's doing the best at this moment, oh, that's tough. That's It's a tough one between Jan and Rick. Those two are really busting their butts, so I'm really proud of those two. Um... Fred's doing what he's supposed to be doing. Everybody's really doing what they're supposed to be doing. Um, unfortunately, Mike had to leave because of family issues. I hate that because uh, I think I could really help him. Um, but he's got to do what he's got to do for family stuff, and I can't ever say anything bad about that. Jan says, woohoo, thank you for the opportunity. All right, guys, my accountability people. Um, last week was the week from hell for me. Um, so this week I'll probably be on your butts a lot more. I only got to check in with you guys, I think twice, um, but I'm going to be on your butts a lot more. So we will be talking soon. So that's it for the accountability people. Now, who has questions about anything they're working on in their business? While you guys are typing, I'm going to start closing some stuff down here. Uh, this is good for you guys. So I'll turn this into a PDF. All right, what questions? Russell says raised hand. I don't understand what you mean, Russell. Okay, at the moment I am on lesson six. I have my promotional content outsourced. I'm waiting on that to be finished. My free product is in the form of a seven day email course. It's a PLR product of good quality with web page, squeeze page, sales page graphic. Can I leave it as an email course? Or do you think I should combine the course? I would have to look at it. So actually, I need to open up my notes here. Russell, do me a favor. Everything you just typed there, send that to me in Messenger. Awesome. Okay. Jan had to leave. Okay. All right, guys. Any questions on anything you're doing in your business that I can help you with? Anybody having any issues? This is your time to get free help from me on your business. <laughs> Trev says, free help. <laughs> Sure says, I need sales copy written. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm kidding. I would totally help you with that, Trev. Adding the new EU stuff to your emails? I am not. I'm not dealing with the whole GDPR or whatever the hell it's called right now. I still got like 10 more days before I have to really do anything about it. Please do not take legal advice from me. Howard says, decided to go with offline consulting niche. Lots of products in IM and deep into that can document my journey as I go. Exactly. That's a wonderful idea, Howard. I'm trying, I have a cousin who really wants to get into the whole um, offline consulting things. And this is what I'm telling him to do. I'm like, man, just start learning things that you can offer your clients and if if you want to, you know, do services and stuff like that, you need to set up a website, blah, 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 blah. I mean, you're way ahead of him. You're not a newbie. You've been doing this for a minute. Um, so you documenting basically the journey and teaching other people to do this, Howard, 
I think is wonderful for you. And there's a lot of money in it. Teaching people how to start their own offline consulting service. Big money in that. Lots and lots of people want to know how to do that. How, what services to offer, how to get more clients, how to build a website to attract people, you know, how to, yeah, and how it says high-end products, exactly. Keep me up to date what you do, Howard. I would love to see it. Raymond says, what program do you use for WordPress security? I forget the name of it. Uh, Randall Hall says all my WordPress security stuff. You would have to ask him. And Randy's not going to be on our Tuesday night webinars anymore, guys. I'm so sad about that. No, Randy. Trevor says WordFence is good for security. Uh, Dell says Liz, how do you start up conversations in Facebook groups to attract prospects? Preach what you know. Show off. Hey, here's something I did today and here's the results I got. What do you guys think? Uh, David says, I was talking to Chad to get permission to do a video on creating an e-cover from scratch with PowerPoint and e-cover authority, like the video he gave me a link to. I want to use videos as an upsell for my PLR product. I was going to include a video showing me rewriting PLR report. Awesome. Go for it, dude. Raymond says, word fence is what I'm using. Then, is it not working? Dell, did that answer your question? Raymond says, looking for something cheaper. How expensive is, I've never even heard of word fence, I don't think. Dell, that's actually a really good topic for me to talk about uh, in depth. Let's do webinar topics. We'll save that one. <laughs> Howard, gotta go. Thanks, Liz, F and Tommy. <laughs> you rock, Howard. Night. Have a good one. Uh, Dale says, I just want to. Raymond says, I just. Okay, hold on, Dale. Is free and premium. Use a free version. Works fine. Okay. Yeah, Raymond, reach out to Randy Hall. Randall Hall. I don't know if you're friends with him on Facebook or not. Everybody should be. Because when you have techie issues, it's exactly who you should go to. <laughs> Alright, so Dale, back to the question about um, <coughs> can you start up conversation Facebook groups or trash project? I want to attract other members of the group to my site I don't want to offend the group owner by being salesy in the group. It is hard to do that. Okay? It is. But it's what I would do is I would just give plenty of content to help people. Okay? And it's what's going to happen is people will start PMing you and saying, hey, where can I get more information? Hey, you know, what do you do online? Stuff like that. And that's when you'll send them to uh, your stuff. You can also ask the group owner if you can... Um, create, like say, hey, I noticed that, you know, your people are asking a lot about this. 
can I, I have, I, I know how to do this. Can I create a tutorial that's specifically for your people and post it in your group? See what they say. Last call for questions, guys. Bill says, great idea, thanks. Yeah, I covered that in I am with Liz.com. Online businesses. I want to show you exactly where I covered how to do that. Website traffic. Facebook group guest content method. So if you view that video, you'll see exactly how I do that. All right, guys, I don't see any other questions. So we are going to be done for tonight. Um, next week, we'll spend more time with um, our... Uh, accountability group I just ran out of a lot of time dealing with them this week um, let's see what else we're gonna next week we are going to be talking about how to run your own Facebook group and how to get traffic from that group be showing you guys a lot of stuff that I'm doing and then how to get started doing that uh, and I think that's it Bosses, have a good one. Thanks so much. All right, guys, that's it for this week. Uh, we will have the replay up as soon as possible. I'll see you guys next week. Night, guys. <laughs>